Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about uh, how Bootstrap View it's uh, working with aspect. It's aspect it's if you have some images and something like that, you want to change uh, the aspect on, like you know from the screens. It's a uh, 43 or 69, it depends on your widescreen or it's just a regular screen. And that's what we want to speak about today. And I will help you to create a function to do this dynamic if you need that. Personally, I don't need uh, to use the aspect so much. I think I've used it uh, a couple of times, but it's not everyday using. So I don't know about you can use it, but now you get it because that's the part of the bootstrap view. And it's really important you know everything about bootstrap view to, to work with it. So that's beginning to create the basic one. Uh, we want to say B aspect. And inside here we want to say the aspect and the aspect is the number so the string sorry so what we want to do now is say aspect and uh, that's we go down for data here and I say 2.1 and around this we want to say style and we say border one pixel solid black and we see my aspect. And let's go back for the browser here. I'll just remove this. You can say my aspect is 2.1. And that's a very basic one. And uh, that's what it is. It's it's taking the basically the, the full of the width. You can see if it just playing around and say, uh, say HR here and say uh, B row, B column, and just going inside here and copy those and copy it one more time. Going back, you can see its aspect is depends on how width it is. It's uh, building the aspect based on the total width. Of the container you're working with and it's it's good to know because sometimes you can use it for the responsible response uh, images and then you can change this dynamic that's very nice so let's go back and create the function but before we are creating the function I really hope you want to enjoy this channel and you want to subscribe to it you can go in and click on the thing below in the right corner you can hit the like button to like this video if you already know you want to like it and of course you can share it and Fill the comments out if you have any questions. Let's go back on the track. You're going here back and uh, the, the next thing you want to do is creating the, the function here. And the function we want to create it's uh, change aspect. And we will just say aspect value. And then we say this aspect is equal to aspect value. It's a pretty simple test here. And then we're going up and create a button up here. Just uh, put out here, you can see it. And, uh, whoops. And we just say 2 1, 2 1. And we say 4 1, 3, and 6 9. That's aspect we want. And what to click? And say change aspect to one, and we just copy this. I think that's easier. And say four three and six nine. Let's go back for the for the browser again. How oh, we need a little bit uh, style here. Um, I think that's the right mark in here. Yeah, that's fine. So let's add for the next button. If I click on the four one, you can see we changed the aspect now. Click on here, we click on the white screen, and then we can click back again. So that's how your dynamic can change depends on what you want. And of course, 
if uh, you have some kind of um, special aspect you want let's say uh, 1.85 to 1 then you can do this too you just just need to uh, decimal use decimal so let's copy this one and say this is uh, 1.5 to 1 and we just copy this over here and you can see how easy it is to working with aspect and let's go back we have this button and you can see we change it so now we can change the change the aspect uh, dynamically so if you have a responsive uh, images inside it will change uh, this way thank you to have you here today and remember to subscribe to this channel remember to smash the comments if you have any questions and remember i always have all my code uh, public on my github channel you can find everything down in the descri description you need thank you to have you and hope to see you next time bye